having had a chance to sort of go through the tape from from a defensive standpoint, what was this kind of the, the message or the, the headline for the guys about tightening it up? I think there was some good things, um, some poor things. And we're never going to play a perfect game. We're not going to shut them down completely, not giving them any chances. Um, I think we gave them a few too many chances. I think we got to be a little bit better, or, um, especially for a team that's the aspirations that we do. Defensive hockey is very important. Um, but I think the biggest thing why things didn't go well the other night was just um, the play of the puck. Uh, you know, so many times we had the puck um, not under pressure and just gave it up and just um, yeah just not being on the attack executing plays enough so they didn't have to defend so yes the defending need needed to get better but just the puck play I thought was the the biggest uh, culprit to our game the other night. After a day off and being at the rink for a couple hours how can you describe the collective approach to the day today? Um, focus on today um, we're not thinking about the past or the future we're just trying to make the most out of today and um, that helps us set us up for a better opportunity to win um, on Saturday and and move on from there so I think everyone's in a good position. Is the Emerson nurse thing still a work in progress because you put Emerson with Kulak in the third period so is that? Yeah we're it's, everything's a work in progress we're still working with the Lions we're still working with the D pairs and we'll find out you know what's best for individuals, um, but also the the collective team. So what are you looking for in that pair, in specific, or a partner for Darnell? Uh, just uh, a good hockey player. Somebody moves the puck, defend well, uh, can play big minutes. Uh, somebody that they can um, uh, relate to each other, and yeah. knowing what the other person's going to be doing, and you know that's something uh, you look at the chemistry that Colin Bouchard have built up and over the you know last season um you know that didn't happen overnight and we want to make sure that we can find that guy for darnell and we'll see who it is and um you know travis is going to have an opportunity uh for that spot right now and we'll find out if it's uh, good or not in terms of like the group getting going the way they want to be going I mean, you just kind of trust that they'll find it in the room, and that you know, almost doesn't need to be said by you at this point. You kind of trust the group to figure themselves out, finding that level. Um, I have confidence that it's going to be done, and just leaving up to the players is, um, um, you know, I, I think the coaching staff has responsibility on guiding it to where it should be. Um, I know the players um, have high expectations of themselves and they have um, an idea where it should go. Um, so I, just to say that the players will just handle it themselves and work it out, I, I think is pretty uh, naive. Um, you know, I'm sure they could, um, but I think we're in this together and, uh, you know, the communication, the message from the coach, uh, uh, messages from the players to the coaching staff. Um, we're working together all the time. So, you know, after a bad game, you know, there's a point where you got to turn the page and let it go. And there's also, well, what did we learn from that? Um, you know, there's a, a player's perspective on what they saw and there's a coach's perspective of what they saw. And, you know, I think it's important that there's a communication finding out a, a resolution. And maybe... Maybe more to the point, the idea of motivation, right? Like you can go over X's and O's and strategies and all those sorts of things, but sometimes a coach has to kick his team in the butt. And fair to say that it's, you know, is it is it early for that from a coach? Uh, whatever the, whatever presents itself. You don't want things going on too long. And, you know, I've seen a lot of coaches kick the team in the butt and there's been no response. Um, I guess it depends on how you classify what a kick in the butt is is it uh, uh you know with an individual player is it um having a, a talk and or is it a singling him out and um forcing him play better through um, ridicule or you know every coach has their um strategies um every player responds different to different strategies and um you know we played a bad game and we have to obviously 
turn the page, but we also have to learn from it and how we get learned from it, you know, you know, how we get the best out of the, the team and individual players. There's not one rule for it. There's not just one single way. So, you know, we're, we're, we're hopefully getting better. So you indicate that you know, there are a lot of different ways. We're going to assume if Emerson's going to play, I guess, with Kulak tomorrow and, and Dermot's going to play with Nurse, this isn't a disciplinary type move for Emerson. Oh, not at, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Just let us in on the decision. What, what takes you there? Um, you know, during the game, there, there was a switch. Uh, um, obviously, the game wasn't going well in the first two periods, and sometimes you do a switch to help an individual out. Sometimes you do switch just to change things up for the team altogether. And, um, you know, on the third period, I thought the team played better in the third period, and not necessarily because it was because of the switch, but, you know, they, as deep pairs, um, the nurse, um, Dermot, played better in the third period, and so did uh, Kulak and Emerson. Everybody's did. So, you know, from what we saw, we're going to continue going with that. And, you know, it was only one period. you got to think about, you know, it was just bound to happen that we were going to play better or they had the lead. They were going to relax a little bit. But, um, yeah, we're just going to continue that. So the whole not having CC. to play with Darnell, you're trying to get Dermot, who's a tryout guy, and you had Cody here, who's played 800 games. It was easier for a coach to plug Cody in, whether with Darnell or... Well, they had, um, I guess, the chemistry before. They'd been playing so well, or playing well together, and obviously the, the time they'd spent together, they knew what to expect from each other, and now we've got uh, half our decors new, and you, we're just trying to find out what's best for, for the team. And you miss CC and Dayarnay on the penalty kill. You lost two penalty kill and big penalty kill. They are. Um, you know, during the, they are excellent penalty killers. Those two, they were. And, but that being said, we, through the playoffs, our penalty kill was pretty good. And we used quite a few people in that situation. Like, CC and Darren and I weren't always part of that. Uh, Kulak was playing his offside in that role. Broberg was playing in that role. So, um, you know, obviously the other night in penalty kill, we let it allow two, which isn't what we want. But um, we're confident the other guys can step up.